Wyatt Kemp knew that working on an oil rig was dangerous. So did his wife, Courtney. But she was still surprised by what he said before leaving for his latest three-week hitch on the Deepwater Horizon. He had said that um, if anything should happen to him, that he wanted me to remarry, and um, especially if the girls were young, he said. Wyatt was among the 11 men killed when the Deepwater Horizon exploded and sank off the Louisiana coast, leaving his widow with an empty grave and a hole in her heart. Wyatt and Courtney had been together since sophomore year in high school. Um, a lot of people said we grew up together. Just before his last hitch on the deep water, Courtney had given birth to their second daughter, Madison. Older sister Kaylee was about to turn three. So when Wyatt suddenly told Courtney to plan for a life without him, she didn't want to hear it. I said, I, you're, nothing's going to happen to you. It's fine. You know, Lord knows I'm not going to be able to handle it if something happens to you. I, I you know, that's not... It's not going to work. For a long time after the disaster, Courtney couldn't even bear the thought of removing her wedding ring. But Wyatt's words kept echoing in her head. She prayed to God. Send me the right guy. Um, and he did. Dustin Robertson was working on a nearby rig when the deep water exploded on April 20th, 2010. Robertson didn't know the family, but went to Wyatt's memorial. Several months later, he'd started a Bible study on the rig and asked the young widow if she would share Wyatt's testimony. He and Courtney were married in April 2012. Little Corbin Grace arrived last November. Robertson quit the oil industry. They decided to stay in the house Courtney and Wyatt built. Robertson doesn't want to replace him, just take care of the family Wyatt had sacrificed so much for. He's a part of this family. Even if I'm her husband, there's still a piece of him here. To Kaylee and Madison, Robertson is daddy now. And Wyatt, he's their daddy in heaven. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Jonesville, Louisiana.